Hey y'all, hey, y'all know me, dropping in to spread a little tea, and you know how we do it, so let's get right into it. Before I start this live, I just want to say that when it first starts, it's kind of like it's coming in the middle of something, but the only reason why that is, is because she had music playing in the background at the beginning, so I couldn't play it with the music, but um, all she's talking about in the beginning is... She's on her way to her acting class and she's starting to get a better understanding of what acting class is all about. She thought it was one thing, but she's seeing that it's something totally different. Also, throughout the live that I'm giving commentary on, I will uh, play a portion, come back with my commentary, play a portion and come back. I'm, I am going to say this. It's very hard when you're trying to be empathetic towards someone. Like on my previous live, I meant everything I said about how I felt about her. And I, I <clears throat> excuse me, I do have, I do have empathy. But I'm going to tell y'all something. Listening to this woman talk, I, I truly, I, now I know, look, she, she likes to hear herself talk. That's it. She don't enunciate words right. She... She repeats herself just to hear, she loves to hear herself, to hear herself talk because no way in her right mind would she think the thing she's saying is okay and true. She's speaking as if people are doing these things to her and she's an angel. She's not doing anything. You know, I called her Sybil on previous videos. I still stand by that. But this one here is Trisha. Check this out. Rob and like somebody just telling me the scene objective, which the scene is objective is what is the point of the scene. What are we trying to get the audience to feel? What are we trying to get the audience to know about the scene? And I thought acting was just thank you for the stars, baby. Um, I thought acting was just you tell me, all right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to act like you cheated on me and I'm mad and I'm upset and then I'm going to cry. That's what I thought acting was. But it's more to that. So I'm learning a lot. Um, I saw a lot of people, I seen a lot of people questioning, like, um, why I didn't say much in the first few videos with Country Wayne. It was more so of an introduction. It wasn't meant for me to say too much because I was already a taken back from the lawyer, I was taken back from Wayne really acting like he know me in real life. I already, I'm already knowing him. But yeah, so those scenes was just an introduction scene. So you don't really see me talk too much. But the more you see me with Erica, the more you'll see me start talking. But that was more so of like an introduction. And then the lawyer caught me off guard. And then... That day was so funny because Wayne talking about now the second time I didn't know he was gonna say DNA again, but the first time he really did say DNA test. <laughs> and I was like, hold on, wait a minute. I could not stop laughing. We had to do that. We had to re-record. Wayne is so funny. Wayne is so damn. Okay, if you guys hear my son in the background, it's spring break. So he on that game and Honey, you would think he was he was streaming, getting paid. But anywho, let's break this down. Brianna really thought acting was, you cheated on me, I'm mad, upset, I'm going to cry. And that's it. Um, of course, there's more to it than that. Your brain really told you that that's all acting was? Really? Come on now. Can you guys please tell me what this meant when she said... I just need y'all to explain this to me in the comments if y'all can. When she said that I was a taken back from the lawyer. I was a taken back with Wayne acting like he know me in real life. I'm already knowing. What are you talking about? It was a skit. You mean to tell me you didn't know your you didn't know your lines like is this something that he just throws out there that you don't prepare yourself for? I mean, I know he do a lot of ad-libbing because he's funny as heck, but but what are you talking about? 
Then she goes into hinting that Wayne is so damn funny. He is so damn funny. Y'all already know. Here it comes. Crazy. Because when I posted that picture, y'all was at the car. was like, y'all would make a cute couple. Y'all is so funny. And Wayne is funny too. Because he took them comments. And he's a fool. But <laughs> anyways, the more you see me with Erica, which is Wayne's girlfriend, I am her client. And you will see me begin to talk more in the next scene. But it was fun working with him. I look forward to working with other people. I am not like closed off and like um, I'm not picky on who I work with. I'm really just open. Like y'all gonna see me doing a lot more skits with people in my class too. Um, just because they are amazing actors to me. When I see them working out their scenes, like every week we get a different scene from a movie that we have to do and every single week i swear to you these people kill it they freaking kill it it's it's out of this world so i'm just excited to like work with all different types of people getting to know all different types of people and bringing y'all some more content some entertaining content good morning Janie. um but besides that, um, I love, why y'all keep spelling his name wrong? You keep spelling his name with a C and it's with a K. <laughs> I see that in the comments a lot too. Y'all put country with a C and his name start with a K. Thank y'all for the stars for the ones that I missed. I didn't see him because I was talking and looking on the road. Good morning, Darnell. How are you, King? Um, so yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm in class. I'm learning a lot of things about acting world, things that I did not know, things that I plan to take with me as I continue to bring you guys content. Um, I am rebranding everything, which is why people keep asking me like, um, why having the boutique or why have a chapter of skincare line? So, in the midst of rebranding myself because I am now single and my brand is just being Brianna. So, with that being said, you guys, the content I want to bring to y'all is kind of like showing you the life outside of what I was, which was a wife, in the journey of healing and the journey of moving forward with my life and the journey of continuing to push in spite of the circumstances, in spite of all the obstacles and attacks that, you know, go against my life on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so I want to bring out entertainment, entertaining content, but I also want to bring you real life content that like show you where I was, what you guys actually experienced that, where I was last year to compare to where I am now I'm in a whole different space I'm in a whole different space um and I've also hard to get here this peace of mind that I have this no drama you know this constant consistent elevation and stuff that I'm working on it was a process so kind of want to give y'all both because I know I have women who inbox me and like because of you I just keep going because of you you inspire me to keep getting up and choosing me and that's basically you know what I started out with with this positive platform which was self love knowing your worth or whatever so through that through this journey that's what I'm doing what I've been trying to tell y'all to do is self love and knowing your worth that's what I'm learning okay so let's take this back to when I told you guys she started you know, saying Wayne is so damn funny. He is so damn funny. No, Brianna, you are. Stop trying to insinuate something. Like, I'm sure Wayne flirts with all the women on his set. Like, I believe this is just part of his nature. Wayne has so many gorgeous women he work with daily. So, like, please stop trying to throw something out there. Because he ain't trying to catch a ball of drama. Wayne is not thinking about you if Wayne said anything about 
your team breeze saying y'all will make a a cute couple and then he came and followed up and made some type of joke because i'm sure that's all it was was a joke wayne was just being friendly girl wayne ain't thinking about you oh and y'all heard what she said she will be talking more in the skits i will be talking more that's what she said mm, okay and speaking of talking more in skits now she's okay with doing Facebook skits. Is that what we're hearing, Brianna? You're okay with doing skits on Facebook now? What about the big screen? Or maybe that's later. That's part of your future elevation, huh? Okay. Now we're going to talk about her rebranding. When people are constantly asking her about her boutique, her skincare line, her book, her response is she's rebranding because now she is single. But according to her, she's been single since October 14th. So I'm just trying to figure out how much longer do you need to rebrand? How much longer do you need? I get that rebranding is a process because I'm in the process of rebranding my online store from clothes to designer handbags and shoes. Well, not shoes, but sandals. But I still continue to process orders. Why aren't you rebranding and still getting to the bag? I'm confused. Then Trisha goes on to say that part of her rebranding is the life uh, outside of what she was, which was a wife. So basically she's saying that she's been recording her journey of healing and moving on with her life. I thought that's what we were watching the whole time. I thought this was your journey the whole time and you were moving on with your life. The whole time has been your healing process. So once again, I'm confused. Y'all, the next thing Trisha spoke on just had me like really tapping my forehead like, come on now. She said that she wants us to see how much progress has been made from last year until now. I'm going to repeat that. Trisha wants us to see how much progress has been made from last year until now. Y'all, this is some delusional ash-ish. This is crazy. She went on to say that she's in a whole different space and she fought so hard to get here. What is going on with this crazy person? Girl, what is wrong with you? What do you mean? This peace of mind you have. No drama. Constant, consistent elevation? What elevation? I'm not being funny. Seriously. Those who follow you as content creators, I mean, at least I'm speaking it for me. I really would like to know what elevation. And since I know you listen to what's being said about you, no one has to report it back to you because you listen on your own. Just like when I said you hadn't went live. You went live. Now you're discussing other things that I've discussed in my video. So now I am calling you out. Could you please on your next live, let us know what constant, consistent elevation are you talking about? Seriously. And for the women that's reaching out to her, thanking her for inspiring them. And it's because of her that they kept going. This is ridiculous. And I truly believe that it's some women reaching out to her. That's truly saying that. And if you are, and if you listen, that is ridiculous. And Trisha, you need to stop trying to lead these women because you are not leading them down the right path. In my opinion, like let whoever going through something, whoever need help with something, why don't you direct them to your counselor that you say you've been seeing? Why don't you direct them to therapy? I don't think someone who can't keep themselves encouraged, who can't keep themselves out of drama, who can't stop talking about other people should be trying to lead other women. 
And guys, I apologize, but I'm going to have to make this into two videos. I will be posting the second part between 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. I got to get off here. My son on spring break and we got to get outside. It's nice today. So I will be back with the second part. As always, thank you for watching. I will talk with you shortly. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I upload a video.